Buns right now are a niche mechanic only a minority of people utilize, even though when they were first introduced with the Hour of the Witch chapter, Buns were overpowered. So what happened since then? And what can all Buns be improved to be worth using? Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Andrewkins, you can call me AK. In today's video we're going to be talking about Buns, how they fell from greatness and how they can all individually improve with some buffs, reworks or possibly fundamental mechanics in the daylight that can significantly help them but not make them overpowered in the slightest. So, the Boon's reign started back in October 21st, when the chapter Hour of the Witch released as mentioned earlier. And with it we got two Boon perks, Recall of Healing and Shadow Step. Shadow Step is a very decent Boon that provides stealth to survivors in its radius by removing the scratch marks and blocking their aura from being red. However, Circle of Healing was absolutely game-breaking with its ability to increase healing speeds and grant survivors with the ability to heal themselves. These two boons would be often combined together or would find Circle of Healing being used alone. It was a very rare occasion to see someone using Shadow Step on its own, because it's simply not that strong and there are some perks <coughs> distortion that do what Shadow Step does better, simpler and easier. After nerf after nerf after nerf to circle of healing, the hero realized that as much as they nerfed the perk, the ability to heal yourself in its radius was too strong, so they went ahead and reworked the perk to how it is now. Boost the healing speeds by double and reveal the order of injured survivors in its radius, but we're gonna talk about this more later. A month and a half after the hour of the witch released, they got chapter 22, Push of a Murder, which introduced us to Jonah Vasquez and his boon perk Exponential, or how many players call it Unbreakable it is essentially unbreakable but into a boon, and granted you the ability to pick yourself up from the ground in 100% increased speed. This sounds strong in theory, in practice it's really not, unless you are in a continuated survive with friends that likes to mess around and get slugged a lot, then you will get value out of this perk. If not, and you are solo queue or duo queuing with a friend, then you are better off just running unbreakable, plus the killer might not even slug you. A few months had gone by and the long awaited chapter 23, Static Rising, chapter releases two live servers, and with it, the new survivor Yoichi, who brought to the game the fourth boon added to the perk roster and the last one for almost two years. His boon name was Dark Theory. It increased survivor's movement speed by 2% when in the boon radius. Just by hearing that, you can tell it is very underwhelming. Behavior later on added the perk made for this, which before it was reworked to how it is today, it granted survivors with 3% haste effect when they were injured, so basically they would have this perk activated at all times. Dark Theory, as a boon, it's way weaker, but does that make any sense? Anyway, the last boon to be released as of making this video is Boon Illumination, which was introduced with the Alan Wake chapter. What Illumination does? It reveals the aura of gems and chests when you're in its radius and also increases your blessing speed by 10% when the boon is active. Another me mediocre, pointless boon. Except for Circle of Healing, no other boon has received any changes since they released. You would think that they didn't get any changes because they are overpowered, right? Well, no. That couldn't be further from the truth. None of these boons are completely useless, but they aren't particularly good either. So it is a big question why they haven't received any changes. The problem with 80% of the boons is that they rely on, on good totem spawns, which map you get, and if you are in a survival with friends. For example, Circle of Healing and Exponential shine when you're in a survival with friends, otherwise you might be better off bringing Won't Make It or Unbreakable as alternatives, even though I love Circle of Healing and I'm bringing in Solo Cube regularly, I truly believe it's not reliable. Shadow Step and Dark Theory are both map dependent. If you get an Ender map and you have a nice Totem spawn, then these two perks are actually somewhat useful. However, if you get an open map like Cold Wind or Auto Haven, Shadow Step becomes absolutely useless, and Dark Theory's 2% is barely anything plus the Totems, I'll be in the corner of the map with no loops nearby, so Dark Theory do be useless. About Boon Illumination is just useless, please don't use it in trial, thanks, gems are super easy to spot, and chests are just useless. To improve Boons overall, I would change the spawns on maps, pull them all closer to the middle of the map, and have one totem guaranteed to spawn in the main building of the map, either first or second floor, and one totem should always be around the center of the map. This will just make Boon way more reliable across the board and will get a ton more value out of Boons that might be map dependent. Shadow Step, Circle of Healing and Exponential, I feel like they are fine the way they are, just with Totem Spawn's improvement they can actually be reliable and good. Dark Theory on the other hand could use a slight buff of 1% that would get 3% haste to survivors or even 10% haste. 
But I don't know, that might be slightly better than what it should be. It wouldn't make a difference, but who knows. It's a boon, it needs to be, give a good effect. Illumination, however, could definitely be improved if it showed auras of totems. So maybe you want to reposition your boon on a better spot. Plus, in my opinion, it should show the auras of windows and pallets, as well including the gems and chests and totems. This would not be overpowered at all since it's a boon and can be with you 24-7 like windows of opportunities. Also, last thing, there should be more perks that increase blessing speed. There are only very limited perks that increase blessing speed and the boost they give you, it's not even more than 10%. Do you guys agree with my opinion and changes about boons? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy. My social sources are Twitch, TikTok and my Discord server will be in the description and I will be seeing you guys all in the next video. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye bye.